I'm I'm in here. I'm I'm here. Shout out my roommate for telling me to make a CJ Stroud video because he's right. CJ Stroud, we talked about this earlier. CJ Stroud's going to win rookie of the year. CJ Stroud in redrafts is going to be the number one pick. This kid's ability just to first off footwork, presence in the pocket, just as someone who played in eighth grade, aspired to be a quarterback until Jack Swam, who was a pitcher, came in. I, I threw a pretty ball, but I got a noodle arm. And Jack Swam again was a pitcher and just threw that thing effortlessly like twice. I'm like Chad Pennington out here just trying to, you know, live by the margins. Either way, I mean CJ Stroud's out here leading game winning drives and making this this Texans team look like they're a team that wasn't a dumpster fire for the last two years a, a team that looks like they're going to be a formidable threat for the foreseeable future four and four cj stroud went 30 of 42 470 yards five touchdowns 11.2 average can can someone sink that in uh he was out there diming he had three guys go over for 100 yards 150 from noah brown 130 from and 10 catches to dalton schultz all right two TDs and 114 for six catches tank Dell. All right. And then sprinkle, sprinkle in a little Nico Collins in there and a catch the John Mechie, the third and Andrew Beck. Damn man. Like that's absurd. Absurd. And I mean, he went toe to toe against Baker Mayfield, former number one pick himself. It was one of those games that, you know, I was watching on red zone. I, and then when I was using the bathroom, you know, dropping some friends off at the pool, I was watching the, 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 the full highlights of anything I had missed, and I could not believe at just the poise and the, the gamesmanship that CJ Stroud has is second to none. All right. It's the type of stuff that you you look for in a in a franchise quarterback. And it's unbelievable that he breaks an NFL rookie record, all right. By throwing for 470 yards, he broke the passing record by completing five straight passes for 75 yards in the final minute of the game, capping his game-winning drive with that 15-yard touchdown. And his longest pass of the day was that 75-yard pass to Noah Brown. And he also threw a, you know, a beautiful pass down to, you know, Tank Dell in the end zone for that 29 yard score. So like he was just threading and that the record, which stood at 453 yards was actually set by Mark Bolger in 2002. And he's the sixth rookie quarterback in the history of the NFL to throw five touchdown passes in one game with Daniel Jones doing it in 2019, Deshaun Watson in 2017, James Winston in 2015, Matthew Stafford in 2009. And listen to this. The guy who did it in 1937 is named Ray Buvid. Okay, Buvid. Have you ever guys ever heard of this guy before? I haven't. I'll admit I've never heard of this guy. And I put the stat on the screen right now. If you guys were wondering right here, shout out 11warriors.com for this. And yeah, so he joins the club with Daniel Jones, Deshaun Watson, James Winston, Matthew Stafford, and Ray Buvid. Now, from 1937 to be the only six quarterback rookie quarterbacks to throw five touchdowns in a game as well as you know him going out there and breaking another record that he already had broken earlier this year which was 191 passes without a interception the most ever by a quarterback to start his career which is awesome in its own right to see that he's going out there and doing stuff that only a select few and if you look at that daniel jones deshaun watson matthew stafford or yeah, I was about to say Jameis Winston, but he didn't. But, you know, Daniel Jones, Deshaun Watson, Matthew Stafford are all quarterbacks that made it to their second contracts. And it's crazy to think that Deshaun Watson's on that list. And it's the same team that CJ Stroud plays for. So right now we're getting to see just probably, you know, one of the best quarterbacks to come into the NFL in a long, long time. And if you're a Texans fan, I think you're just excited to even if this season like you're not going to win a super bowl this year let's be realistic that's not happening but in a game that you didn't even have your kicker your kicker got hurt remember fair barn was knocked out of the game correct me if I'm wrong and it was it was in, it was crazy to think that dare agu agu bowell the running back, um, his name's Dare, who he had kicked off, had two touchbacks, and he had a go-ahead field goal. So shout out him. Like, he should be the unsung hero here. But when you, you looked at this game, for a team that was able to just rally around a young quarterback, 
I think that's impressive. And that, that was a lot of guts and it was fun to watch. So I want to hear your thoughts.